Okay, this is uh, two matches I'll talk about right now. First being Mark Henry versus Rusev. Now the thing with the Bruce, all the Rusev matches really is that the build-up, people care about a lot. It's easy to get into USA versus Russia, USA versus Canada, you know, USA versus the Middle East. It's always something that people can relate to because it's been going on for so long. And people get behind it, but when the matches come out, when the matches actually start, it's a different story. Once that bell rings, and it's just, it's just whatever. It's just another match. There's no specialty to it. It's just two guys that are subpar at average. Mark Henry is way past his prime. He's okay, but, you know, not to the point where you'd rely on him to carry an ending segment to Raw and to really be in, involved in a feud that people care about. Mark Henry comes out in his nice little attire, and uh, Lillian sings the national anthem. Mark Henry starts crying. But then again, he's cried before. Those fake tears is just, uh, it's acting school. You know, you learn how to do that kind of stuff. Big Show does it. Triple H does it. Vince McMahon does it. Mark Henry does it. Just a gift of the game, I guess. But then Rusev comes out, and, you know, it, it, it's made out to be like a big battle. Ivan Drago versus Rocky Balboa. But once that bell rings, it's just, that feel goes away because both guys just aren't very good, to be quite honest. And the match is very, whatever, subpar. Some people may say there is a good story behind it, but I think the story that people, I think, get confused with is going into the match. Once the match actually, start, once the match actually starts, uh, let me turn this off. It's a totally different story. I just found the match very boring. I think Mark Henry isn't very good. I think Rusev's even worse. And uh, I think if you wanted to stick anybody in there, I think it would have been, should have been Jack Swagger and, and Zeb Coulter because I had never, ever seen a guy like Jack Swagger turn from being someone no one cares about to guy who is getting the biggest pop on a show. And I think if you really wanted to run with that, it should have been Jack Swagger versus Rusev and... Maybe the outcome should have been a little bit different, but what's Swagger doing now? What's Mark Henry going to do after that feud's over? He's going to feud with the Big Show. I guess he has a backup plan. Swagger doesn't, so it was okay. But next match, Randy Orton versus uh, Chris Jericho. Started off a little slow, started off like your typical Randy Orton match, very slow, very methodical, but by the end it picked up, great near falls, uh, an overall good match, but I think a lot of people, I, including myself, would have enjoyed it a lot more if um, there was a story behind it. You know, you just had him attack him in the locker room for no reason, and then two weeks later they're having a match on pay-per-view. You know, sure, put it one way, it's just a filler, but if this leads to a feud, what are they going to feud over? You know, it, it all started from an, a random attack in a, in, a, in a locker room. There's no real beef there. Just uh, two guys that they have really nothing to do for right now, I guess until Jericho leaves, then... You know, what's Orton going to do? You know, probably go for the title again, as usual, because who can or I don't even want to think about it. Who Orton can even feud with, because he's feuded with everybody more than one on one occasion. So, but overall, I like that match. I thought the match was uh, very good. Well, it was good. Uh, commentators <laughs> put it over like it was a five-star classic. Even Lawler's like, we just witnessed a classic, and what an incredible match. And, man, I sure was glad to be part of that match, like. It was good, but it wasn't that good. It was it was good for what it was, a match that has no build, just two guys out there and putting on a good show at, like, nine, 15 minute match. So, for what it was, I, I enjoyed it. But that's it. Now the Divas match is on. I'll do, I guess, a review on that and maybe the match after. So, see you guys then.